In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your workflows for your company, set it up under the supplier, and use the packing list internally within your company. So the first thing you want to do is set up the workflows for the packing list. You go to Store Management Settings, Store, Wholesale Workflow. Now you can add a workflow and add a procedure. So a workflow is just a name of the tasks that you will be doing or you will have your employees doing. The procedures is a step-by-step -step process of what the procedure is within that workflow. So for dash kit manufacturing, we have laser cutting comes first, then polishing, then packing. For parts packing, we have a print barcode, then grab the item and ship it out. So you can set it up accordingly to how you want to structure the packing list. And the goal here is to assign a task to each employee who is responsible for a certain task and have them follow these different workflows which are different procedures. So after you set up your workflow, so in this case I set up my parts packing and dash kit manufacturing, now you need to assign this workflow to a warehouse supplier. So the warehouse supplier will most likely be yourself because you're creating this internally for yourself. So what you're going to do is you're going to create a supplier which will be yourself. In my case this is me, Mimo USA and you would say that you're a warehouse supplier. So the difference between a dropship supplier and a warehouse supplier, a dropship supplier, you send them the order and they ship it for you to the customer. A warehouse supplier means that you have your own warehouse which you ship out from or do your in-house manufacturing from which will make you a warehouse supplier. So you would fill out all this information, set up yourself as a warehouse supplier, and the next step you would do is you would go to supplier settings and you'll see all the workflows that you created in your settings under wholesale workflow you'll see them all here under the workflow so all you need to do is just check mark the workflow that's going to be associated to the supplier and you will have this workflow mapped to this specific supplier now before you can actually put something in the workflow you have to assign it through the order assignment so the way that works is you go to order management order assignment and whenever an order is going to come through is going to show up here. You're going to auto assign the order and you can watch under help tutorials under processing orders you can see all these different videos on how to actually use order assignment. So once you go into the order assignment you will see that something was ordered and there's a workflow assigned to it. So it says dash kit manufacturing. So basically instead of sending it to a dropship supplier which is usually what the button will be here for if you're sending it to a dropship supplier now you have an option to send it to the workflow or packing list. If you don't agree with the workflow that this order is assigned to you can override the workflow to something else that exists in your system for that supplier. So basically once you set up your settings, set up your workflows, assign the workflow to your supplier, create a product mapping this supplier to the product and that product gets ordered on your website or internally from the back office it's going to show up in order assignment you're going to assign the products by clicking auto assign so they all assign from non assigned to assigned and get mapped to a supplier and from here it's automatically going to go into the workflow as soon as you press this place into the workflow button once it's in the workflow you can click on order management packing list and all the items that are in your workflow that have been assigned will now appear here. Watch the next video on how to use the packing list itself.